you've done it. From the director who brought you Smokey and the Bandit, Hooper, Cannonball Run, comes the ultimate spectacle. Thanks for the light, Marty. Lighting up my day. Oh, didn't fix those. Sweet. Supposedly I got some new tires, so. Like, park far enough away? The trick is to line up with another truck. And some people maybe don't know that. Torque wrench. It's fucking with all my shit. What do you need to know the RPM for? I want the clock. Always. I know what the RPM is via the noise that comes out of the mufflers. I mean, not lack of mufflers. Yeah, that's what I meant. Centre. In the case of nuclear or radiological fallout, People living around potential targets such as military bases and chemical plants may be advised to evacuate. Protection from radioactive fallout will require taking shelter in an underground area or in the middle of a large building. shop I'm like shit I'm like I should have been gone a half an hour ago plus I gotta stop and retard which that'll only take like three minutes one axle both sides got some new meats after complaining I had to put in my email I'm like if I blow a tire the last place I'm stopping in the middle of the day when I'm working is a tire shop I'll stop when the day is done I don't care if I'm going through the scales or not you guys want to run tires down so there's almost nothing left and then I got to pick up the slack and screw my day and then be like oh I'm not making it home tonight because I had to go to the tire shop for four hours not happy I'm like you're supposed to I've been writing it up for like a month I'm like dude you guys know it's thin I'm like you tell me how thin do you want to go with the tires you want to go until they blow off the rim uh, until cords are showing you just gotta tell me then I'll be like okay I'll stop bugging you because road train we'd never run our tires that low ever because we were getting re retreads recaps I don't know I don't, I don't all about saving a buck you're not saving a buck you're stressing me out 
Like, you know, I spent my whole winter with less than perfect tires. I usually like to start my winter <laughs> with decent tires, and then we can run them thinner in the summer. Like, I need tread for the snow. In the mud, I'm chaining up regardless, so. I don't know. It's like, oh, I can get another two weeks out of those. Last time I rode it, I'm like, okay, well now it's been a month. Where are you at? Shit like that. I'm like, I could work other places if we're not gonna fix stuff. I'm working here because we take care of our stuff, but I'm starting to slack off a little bit. I don't know what's going on. Seem to be more interested in repainting a fucking nine axle so we can get rid of it for a 10 axle. I don't know. I think. I don't know what the fuck we're doing. Like, we don't even fucking use this trailer. Why? You spending so much time on this when I'm over here suffering. I'm like, I got lights out, important ones. I know I'm pulling a trailer, I don't need them, but that's not, use the tractor spike. Our road train mechanic was like, yeah, you can't have the brakes on when you retorque whatever axle you're retorquing. I'm like, that's the first I've ever heard about that. Someone else comment below if you say it too as well. Like, I don't know. I'm like, no one told me that for the first 40 years of my career. 40. <laughs> 10. We were got pretty anal about, uh, that's the wrong side. Tires and retorquing our road train because we had a few incidents and they're like, well, how are we gonna go about this to make sure it never happens again? Like everybody had to go for a hundred kilometer and out, hundred kilometer drive and retorque. So anytime we got tire work, I had to go for a hundred kilometer drive to basically drive out to Ramby. We'll take your pick. I was like, it's stupid. I'm like, I get it. Same reason everybody had to get a loader ticket because I rolled the cat off the side of the trailer. I'm like, really? I'm like, we should get man lift tickets. Cause those are the most important ones. I can't run those with shit. Of course, the time when you're late, you always gotta do the most stuff. I uh, put in all my deck pins this morning. Just a fucking disaster today. <laughs> I thought Shane was coming and I didn't see him, so I was like, not really paying attention to him. I'm like, well, Shane's not here yet. Cause he got in on the group text last night. So I just assumed he was coming, but maybe he's not. I don't know. Maybe he's late too. <laughs> I already phoned the push. I was like, dude, I'm gonna be like 25 minutes late, maybe more. He's like, don't worry about it. Everybody's gonna be here at the same time. I'm like, oh, okay, so it'll be just congested anyway. It's like, yeah, pretty much. Now my tire chains will be questionable if they're gonna fit. With these new meats, my new Chinese tires, which, oh, that one was loose. I always feel like, uh, they have improper wear. Like my other tires, center axle, it was all lumpy. I think the high boys got one of those tires too. Cause it rides like shit at high speeds when it's loaded.
So, Butthead, did you think of any more job possibilities? Uh, no.
I gotta do all this shit? <laughs> he stopped. Oh well. That's the first time for me that I've been, well, there's been one, one or two other times where they're like, hey, can you do the cement bands in the 400s? Oh, if they would have been ready to stand them up, I would have. Would have socked them in there, but. I'm also by myself. I'm like, yeah, if someone wants to like square them up when I'm done, I'm like, I'll stand them up there. But I'm like, without someone standing there, I'm like, kind of guessing, and they're not going to be perfect. So I don't. Then I'm just, I'm just wasting my time. So I'm like, no, not even going to ask. I'm just going to leave. Sayonara. Looks like they're punching four holes there, so they should be there for a while. Ate some dust, that's what you heard all that. I was blowing. Let's do some light dusting. Hate that. Hate short moves like that where it's. I don't know. It's too short. Can't charge batteries. Can't eat. Can't eat. You're just like, well, I didn't have half a sandwich, but it's just like. Go hard. I didn't think it was gonna be. What is it? It's one o'clock. They'll be done that probably by like three o'clock. Should be done. But literally, it was 2.7 kilometers, if that. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Pretty gravy day. Uh, uh, it made me tired, though. Holy shit, I could go home and still have my afternoon nap. Stop and get a coffee on the way home. I hate going this way. You gotta drive through. Well, he got this stop sign. Then he got sunny slope. He got to slow down to 80. I'm like, why do you gotta slow down to 80? Like it's a two farmyards and a hall. The easiest way to come out here is probably go with Highway 21 and 42. But this morning I was like, oh, since I was late, I'm like, there's way less traffic on, well, I can make lane changes on Highway 2 and then the rest of the road is pretty quiet. Coming this way, coming east off of 2, there's not a whole lot of traffic. It's Saturday, of course. Hey, what are you doing Saturday? Hauling all the cement bins of 400s in the back shack and a shack? I'll be like, how many loads do you do? Dude, I did, what did I do? Four, eight, nine, ten. Ten loads. <laughs> Dwayne was like, all right, grab that pipe top. I'm like, jeez, right, that's pretty full, Dwayne. I'm like, if it was half full, maybe. I'm like, a full top? No. <laughs> I tried. I was like, oh, maybe I can make it work. If the wheels were off the ground, I had to move the shovel in the broom so I can get it right into the winch. And yeah, I was, I'm too light. I get it off the ground, but I'm too light. As soon as I put it in gear to step ahead, the truck just goes, <laughs> then it comes down eventually. He's like, grab that, I don't know if that's the, the clam or whatever. It's just a junk box full of stuff. I'm like, I'm like, can I grab from the building at his head? He's like, no, you can grab from the other. He's like, it's light. I'm like, I, to everybody else, it's light. To me, it's heavy. <laughs> well, it's not heavy, but too heavy for my little truck. He's like, you know what, just go back go back to doing the 400s and cement bits. I'm like, well, that's what we agreed upon in the first place. <laughs> I'm like, you're just making me look, you're just embarrassing me. Asking me to do something I can't do. 
freaked out for a second. Everybody was just taking pictures and laughing. Look at this guy in his bed truck. All right, back to town. Thanks for uh, stopping by and viewing the channel, checking out the shiz night. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I don't know how it's gonna turn out. I was like, there's no way I'm gonna be able to make video of both ends because I killed the battery and I don't know how much footage I lost, but I think it was very little because I looked out the back window, it was still recording, and then when I grabbed it, it wasn't recording. I was like, ah. But that's the problem, I put, put the summer battery outside. It doesn't last very long. The winter battery, yes, it lasts longer when it's cold, but the summer battery actually lasts longer when it's hot. Figure that one out. I don't even know what that's supposed to mean. Can't jig, can't slow down, sorry. Can't do 80. I wish I had a little valley to live in. That'd be sweet. Just have sledding hills. bird got loose. Alright, we're ready to go home. Um, thanks for everything. See you on the next one.